With SSD prices dropping more and more each year, as people are constructing their builds, they're wondering, is it time to go fast? Nowadays, if you're looking for a SSD that can compete in price with a hard drive, chances are you're gonna be buying something uh, either 60 or 120 gigabytes. But just how much can that storage give you and how much of an SSD can you get for a comparable price to a hard drive? And if you do have space in the budget, is it even worth it to get an SSD of a small capacity like 60 gigabytes? Will it really help you out that much in the long run? These are the questions we look to answer today in this throwdown. Who said anything about a throwdown? Between a $30 SSD and a $30 hard drive. The hard drive used in this video is a 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM Hitachi Travel Star hard drive. It's pretty much the most basic hard drive you can imagine. 7200 RPM is a very standard speed for a hard drive. The speeds of this hard drive as far as read and write are very uh, pedestrian, nothing crazy here, just a standard hard drive. Just the most bare bone hard drive you can imagine. Facing up against our very formidable hard drive is this very cheap SSD, the King Dion 2.5 inch 60 gigabyte SSD. Uh, as far as capacity goes, 60 gigabytes is not that great, but it's gonna do for testing purposes in this video. I would recommend spending the extra $9 or so to get a 120 gigabyte if you can afford it, but this 60 gigabyte is gonna do just fine for our testing purposes. It boasts a read slash write time of up to 460 megabytes per second, it uses the SATA 3 interface, just a very standard SSD here, three year warranty by the way, which is actually very good compared to most uh, PC parts you're gonna get. Three years, it's a decent time to have a warranty on a uh, piece of hardware. So if you do have any problems, uh, like some reviewers on the Amazon page have had, you can definitely turn it in, get your refund. To test these two drives, we have an array, a battery of amazing tests. I have three games, CSGO, Battlefield 4, and Black Ops 3. Yes, I know, not the most recent and greatest titles, but it's what we're working with here. Uh, in addition to that, I will be doing a cold boot startup test to compare the two drives, as well as a benchmarking utility, which should tell us the actual read and write speeds, because whenever you're dealing with a brand you've never heard of, like in this case, the King Dion, never heard of this in my life, uh, the advertised speeds are usually going to be faster than the actual real life speeds because that's just what they do. That's marketing for you. But before I get into the benchmarks, um, I did notice during testing 60 gigabytes of storage is not a lot. Uh, I fit the OS on the SSD. I could fit one or two games depending on the size. But with file sizes being as large as they are in this day and age, 60 gigabytes on an SSD just really not enough for practical day-to-day -day use if you want to throw a few programs on it as well as your operating system so i would recommend the 120 gigabyte for future reference but let's get into the benchmarks this is a chooky beat production, production. production. production.
So there you have it. SSD versus HDD. The battle of cheap SSD versus standard hard drive. What have we learned? Well, I did learn what I expected going into it. 60 gigabytes of storage does not get you very far in today's day and age. Uh, it was a lot of deleting games, reinstalling games, deleting games, reinstalling games, and with my internet connection, with that amazing 3 megabit per second download speed, it took a very long time to make this video. Um, I would recommend, if you're trying to do a uh, SSD HDD configuration combination type of deal, I would recommend uh, stepping up to a 120 gigabyte SSD, but as far as the performance of our very cheap friend right here, uh, the King Dion, I was pleasantly surprised. This thing is a sturdy piece of hardware, and for uh, less than $30, it speeds really weren't all that bad, and improved my uh, boot speeds in games uh, as well as Windows. So in a lot of games like Counter-Strike, where for instance, if you get kicked right at the start of the match, and you have five seconds to get back in there, with my just standard hard drive having the game on there, a lot of times my uh, boot speeds weren't fast enough to be able to let me restart my computer and get back in the game. Uh, but with the game installed on the SSD, it was no problem. I just booted right up and uh, the Windows start time was cut down significantly as well as uh, Counter-Strike's boot time. So that's the main application for a small capacity hard drive like this. You don't get it to put all your essential programs on it. You don't get it to put pictures and videos. You get it to throw the S OS on there and then throw in one or two of your favorite games, especially Counter-Strike. This was very helpful for not getting me kicked from competitive games. And if you have an extra $28 in your budget, hell, I'd definitely recommend buying the King Dion. Because even though I showed you some negative Amazon reviews in the beginning, it's really not all that bad. <clears throat> if you go check it, it has like a 4.3 star review. If you're interested in purchasing it, go ahead, down in the description I have my Amazon associate links. If you use that, I get a kickback and it helps out the channel a lot. Um, and there's also a general link to the Amazon site, so if you want to buy any different kind of SSD, or you want to buy some cat food, some dog food, some horse food, It'll be right on there, and you use it, I get a kickback. So thanks, everybody. If you have any questions about this SSD or the hard drive or anything else PC-related, be sure to go down in the comments and share your thoughts. And be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. See y'all later. Peace.